Welcome back. Oh, something's smelling good. This morning on Today Food, chef, author, and certified nutritionist Mia Rigdon is here to help us stick to our healthy New Year's resolutions. These are two easy veggie packed dinner recipes. It's from her new cookbook called Food Wise. Mia, good morning. Thanks for having me. Okay, I usually don't get excited when there's vegetables, but this looks and smells delicious. What are okay, we making? Thank you. So first we're going to start with a super green spaghetti okay. with zucchini noodles. So have you ever used a spiralizer before? I've seen them. I've never attempted right, it. So you just kind of give it a whirl here. Okay. You want to give that a try? Yeah. Now you need the spiralizer, I guess, yeah, if you want to do this the recipe. You know, now a lot of grocery stores have pre-made zucchini oh, noodles, true, which true. can cut down on time. But I like to use the spiralizer. And then we're also going to use the zucchini to make a really creamy zucchini pesto. Okay. So I've already got a clove of garlic in here. Yeah. I'm going to dump in this diced zucchini. I'll you keep can use, like okay. the leftover little nubs from that as well. Oh, okay. We've got olive oil, mm -hmm. lemon juice. This is a dairy-free pesto oh. and it's yeah. not a chunky pesto. This is really creamy and the zucchini okay. is adding some extra nutrients. Is that pine nuts you just put yep, in there? Some okay, toasted yeah. pine nuts and some basil. All We're right. not going to blend this because it's loud. Okay. And so over we'll pretend here, to blend. over here we've got our pasta going. So the thing I like about this recipe mm -hmm. is that it has both zucchini noodles and pasta. Oh, I was just oh, noticing oh, that. So it's not just okay. zucchini noodles. So, but let's just say you wanted to go all zucchini noodles. You could noodles totally go all okay. zucchini noodles. You could also That's go all like pasta. Yeah. Yeah, okay. So yeah, what I like about pasta. this is that when I'm making a pasta dish, and I talk about this a lot in the book, yeah. it's all about inverting the ratio. Because normally when you have pasta, it's like 90% pasta with like yeah. some sauce on it. Right. So then you're only eating carbs. Correct. Here we've got, we're using a chickpea pasta, which is high protein. It's got lots of fiber, and okay. then we're cutting the portion in half. Okay. So that so you're more zucchini than pasta. More zucchini, and this is also a high protein pasta. But you could serve this with chicken, fish. It looks incredible, guys. How does it it's taste? Really, it really checks the You like box. it? The chickpea pasta is a great call. We use the, that now at the house as well. Yep. The mm -hmm. chickpea pasta is great. More protein. This is better for your Bonzo. blood sugar yeah. levels. Yeah, more crazy. fiber. And you just put the blended stuff really right good. in there. Yep. Oh my gosh, I can't just wait to taste that. I'm gonna eat what and stir. I'm stirring. All right. Okay. okay. Moving on to the next recipe. Looking great, SG. Looking great. All right. We are making spicy broccoli poppers. Yum. I make these with my son all the time. Okay. Super easy. So what I've done here is we've mixed together just some water, some flour. I'm using a gluten-free all-purpose flour, but you okay. can use regular flour mm -hmm. and some sunflower seeds. And then you just dip the broccoli in there one by one. And then you're going to put them onto a sheet pan once okay. they're all dipped. You bake this in the oven for 10 minutes. Bake, not fry. Yes. Bake okay. in the oven for 10 minutes. This is like my take on like a broccoli tempura. Yeah. And then they're going to come out like this. And then we mix together the sauce. Okay. So this is some white miso paste I have here, mm -hmm. some chili flakes. If you're making this with kids, my son Ozzy loves this. Okay. I just, he's three, so I leave out the chili flakes, but it's a fun way to prepare <laughs> yeah. broccoli. We've got some tamari mm -hmm. and some coconut aminos. Okay. Some lime juice. Right. Is that coconut wow. what? Coconut aminos. It's like a soy free. Are these uh, hard to find these items? What is no. the tamari? What's that? Tamari is oh, tamari. a gluten free. <laughs> close enough. Tamari oh. is a gluten free soy sauce. So you could oh. also use mm. soy sauce here, okay. but I prefer tamari. All the recipes in my book are gluten free. Oh, okay. Great. So then you're just going to want to whisk this up. Mm -hmm. And. I feel like we're gonna have a five alarm fire here. Just turn yeah, it off. Whole meal gluten free. Everything is gluten free right now. Gluten free. I've never had a gluten free meal till right now. Ever? Oh, really? Yeah. All right. Well, welcome. Oh, yeah. How did you like it? And did you try the broccoli? Does it give you that kind of yeah. like tempura I feel? I feel like you can almost temp any vegetable you could tempura. Yes. Like the zucchini totally. or you yeah. could cauliflower any, you could do with this. You could even throw some chicken in here. If you wanted to, could you deep fry that? You could, or you could also use an air fryer. Oh, there you go. You could order yeah. pizza okay. too, Al. There you go. <laughs> it's but, it's a but a of vegan pizza. <laughs> yes. You could order pizza. pizza. One of those okay, of cool. So yeah, when, whisk that up and then what? Once it's all whisked up, then we're going to throw the broccoli that we baked in here. Okay. Do you wait for it to cool or just go right in? Yeah, it depends if you don't want to burn your fingers you right well, wait for it to that. cool oh, yes. but you know and then we just mix it up okay. and then we throw it back on the sheet pan we bake it for another 10 oh. minutes oh. and then we stick the broiler on to, to get them nice and crispy Ooh. like they are here and yeah. what about air voila. fryer could you put that in the air fryer she just totally totally the air fryer yeah it was like the air fryer is a little bit quicker i missed that where yeah, were you? Okay. That was like 20 seconds. It was the lack of gluten. Did, did, I, did you take a little tape? I did. I did. 
I'm back now. This has got a nice little bite to it, by the way. The broccoli? It's got a little bite. Yeah, that, like that. that's that's There's no really substitute flavor. for flavor here. It's really no, it's flavor. really good. That's cool. what we're going for. Yeah. Mia, thank, you thank you so much. Thank you. Congrats for having me. Called Food Wise. If you want to get the recipes, learn more about the book. Go to today.com/slash/food. Could you use zucchini <laughs> noodles? Yeah, you could. Use noodles. <laughs> you know, in this broccoli dish, you could use broccoli. Broccoli. I was you thinking could. That. Yeah. Wow. That would go great in the broccoli. See what we're working with here.